Hello Math Tusias! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin is tungkol sa determining the factors of the given polynomial. So, mag-a-identify tayo, magde-determine tayo, kukunin natin yung factors ng ibinigay na polynomial. Now, itong topic naman na ito ay madali lang. Kaya lang, medyo matrabaho kasi uh, mag-trial and error ka eh hanggang sa makuha mo kung ano ba talaga yung factor na magsasa... Uh, ano ba? Hanggang sa makuha mo yung possible factor na magsasatisfy ng ating polynomial. So, ang kailangan lang dito ay tiyaga at dapat master nyo yung pagkuha or paggamit ng synthetic division. Okay, wag na nating patagaling pa to. Halina at simula na natin. Okay, for number 1, find the factors of p of x which is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus 8. So, yung first step natin dyan is to determine the possible factors. Okay, kunin mo yung possible factors ng first term mo at yung possible factors nung last term mo. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin dyan, ang possible factors ng first term natin ay positive, negative 1. So, dito may pwede tayong dalawang itry. Isang positive, isang negative. How about yung 8 natin? Or yung negative 8 natin? E, ang factors nyan ay pwedeng 2. So, we have positive, negative 2. Okay. And then, pwede ding positive, negative 4. And also, positive, negative 8. So, ilan yung pwede nating itry? 2, 4, 6, 8. O, oh, walo yung pwede nating itry. Pero kung sa una pa lang makukuha naman na natin yung answer, di hindi na natin kayang, kailangang itry pa lahat to. So, paano ko nakuha to? ba diba ito 1. So, factors nya is, is 1 and 1. Ang 8, ang factors nito ay 1 and 8, tapos 2 and 4. Kaya yan nakuha natin. Okay? So, let's start. Okay, let's try. Test value natin muna ay positive 1. Okay, dahil ito naman ay walang missing term at naka-arrange, we can easily have the coefficient 1, negative 1, negative 10, and then negative 8. So, we have here 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is... 0, negative 10 plus 0 is negative 10. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. Negative 8 plus negative 10 is negative 18. Since our remainder is not 0, meron siyang remainder, ibig sabihin, itong positive 1 is not a factor of this one. Okay, so proceed tayo kay test value which is negative 1. So we have 1, negative 1, negative 10, and then negative 8. So we have here... 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 1 is how many? Positive 2. Negative 10 plus positive 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus uh, times negative 1 is positive 8. Negative 8 plus positive 8 is 0. Yay! So, ibig sabihin, yung negative 1 as our test value is a factor. So, check siya. Since 0 na siya, ito na yung gagamitin natin. Ha? So, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng 1, negative 2, negative 8. Okay, itry naman natin si positive 2. Since tapos na tayo kay positive 1 at negative 1, si positive 2 naman. Okay, we bring down 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. So, negative 8. Ito, pag inad. So, which means ito ay hindi. Wrong siya. So, itry naman natin yung negative 2. Okay, so ito pa rin ang gagamitin natin, ha? So, we have there 1, negative 2, and then negative 8. Okay, so we have there 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus negative, uh, times negative 2 is positive 8. Okay, negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Yay! So, ibig sabihin, ito, factor to. 
Okay? Since dalawa na lang to, pwede na natin kunin yung mga factors natin. Di ba ito will be equal to x minus 4. Naalala nyo, pag gumukuha tayo ng quotient using synthetic division, so x minus 4. Okay, dahil ito ay negative 2, ibig sabihin kung test value siya, negative 2, originally positive 2 siya. Kaya magkakaroon ka ng x plus 2. Okay, tapos yung isa pa, na-check kanina, yun x minus, x minus 1, is negative 1. So, dahil negative 1 to, ibig sabihin originally siya ay plus 1. So, x plus 1. So, ayan na. Yan yung factors niya. So, the factors of the given polynomial function is x minus 4, x plus 2, and x plus 1. See, madali lang naman eh. Akala nyo lang mahirap. Medyo, ano lang siya, tedious. Kasi ang dami nyong itatry. Mag-trial and error lang kasi naman kayo. So, okay ba? O, tingnan natin to. Find the factors of the polynomial x raised to 4 minus 5x squared plus a 4. Okay, so kunin natin yung mga possible factors niyan. So, possible, sorry, factors ng nitong first term nyo ay positive and negative 1. Ang 4 nyo will be positive, negative 2, and then positive, negative 4. ba? 1 times 4, tapos 2 times 2, tapos ito 1 times 1. Kaya ito yung nakuha nating possible factors niya. Okay, now then we try. Okay, upon checking, makikita nyo, hindi complete to, no? So, we cannot easily just go to scientific, ah, uh, scientific, synthetic division, kailangan kompletuin muna natin siya. So, ito ay magiging x, sorry, so, x raised to 4 minus, no, plus a 0, x raised to 3, kasi wala tayong cube dito, minus a 5, x squared, Okay, plus 0x plus 4. Oo nga pala mga anak, hindi ako masyadong active sa paggawa ng ating mga uh, video sa grade 10 kasi wala man lang nagre-react sa mga videos na ginagawa ko ni. Hindi ko man lang alam kung na-appreciate ba, natututunan ba, pinapanood ba ng maayos o ano. Ngayon, kung uh, sa tingin nyo naman ay gusto nyo pa ng mga, ano natin, ng mga tutorial dito sa G10, mag-comment naman kayo dyan, mag-request kayo dyan para naman ma- inspire pa si ma'am gumawa ng videos pagdating sa grade 10. Baka naman kasi walang nanonood. Sayang lang naman yung effort ko. Okay? So, let's have this one. Synthetic division na tayo. We have there 1, 0, negative 5, 0, and then 4. Okay? Then, test 0 tayo. We have here, kunin muna natin si positive 1. So, we have here 1. 1 times 1 is... 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is also 1 pa rin. So, 1 dito. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 uh, times 1 is uh, negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 is still negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. So, 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Yay! So, una pa lang meron na tayong nakuhang factor. So, factor siya. Since factor siya, so, ito na yung magiging basis natin, no? Kasi nag... 0 na siya doon. Wait lang. Okay. So, magiging 1, 1, negative 4, negative 4 na. Ito na. Okay. So, let's try when we have negative 1. So, we have 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 0 times negative 4. And negative 1 is 0. Negative 4. K plus 0 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Yay! Tama rin si negative 1. Okay? And, syempre, ito na. So, we have here 1, 0, and then negative 4. Ano nang itatry natin? Let's try yung 2. Positive 2. Let's see, this is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is a 4. Okay, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Ang galing na, sakto, no? So, we have this one na. So, dahil dalawa na lang to, we can easily write now our factors. Okay? 
So we have there. Okay. So this will be x plus 2. Wait. X plus 2. Okay. Now for our test the values, we have x. Bago to maging positive 2, diba? It's originally negative 2. So x minus 2. Ito bago maging negative 1. Originally, <laughs> originally that's x plus 1. And then we have here positive 1. So that's negative 1. Okay, so ganyan lang naman kadali magkuha ng factor sa tiyagaan lang. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at gusto mo pang gumawa pa ako ng ibang video tungkol sa lesson nyo sa grade 10, please huwag kalimutang mag-like, i-share itong video na to at mag-comment kahit anong comment ha. At kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na gagawin ko. Let's press the love of math. Bye and thank you.